Nootropics are currently one of the biggest emerging trends in gaming and esports industry. But what exactly are nootropics? Do they really work? Are they better than energy drinks? And which are the best nootropics you can currently find in the market? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here from your inception. Welcome to my channel. If you wanna learn top secrets about nootropics and supplements, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're gonna look at the best nootropics for gamers. If you're a gamer, then nootropics should be super interesting for you. In this video, we're gonna look at the benefits of nootropics. I'm gonna quickly explain what nootropics really are. I'm gonna show you the best individual nootropic compounds that you can find in the market. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you my favorite nootropics and nootropic supplements that you can currently buy. So if you're ready, let's just begin. So what exactly are nootropics? Well, nootropics are mainly natural compounds that can enhance your cognitive abilities. They can improve your focus, attention, improve your memory, make you more productive, uh, they can increase the speed of thinking, uh, make you more relaxed, they can even improve your sleep, and can have a positive benefit on your general health. So compared to classical energy drinks that most people and most gamers drink, the tropics are so much healthier in general, of course, uh, and they can provide so many more benefits compared to energy drinks that it's really hard to compare them. The biggest benefit of energy drinks is that they can provide a short energy boost, which nootropics can do as well because one of the most popular nootropics is actually caffeine, which I'm gonna mention soon in the later part of the video. But still, um, there are so many more benefits you can get from taking nootropics and the most important thing is that they can provide long-term benefits compared to energy drinks that just provide a short-term kick and that's it. So if you're serious about gaming and if you're really trying to improve your gaming skills, then you should definitely look at nootropics. Now, which are the best nootropics on the market? Let me mention a few of them. The first one I wanna talk about is cetylcholine. Cetylcholine is actually not a natural, it's a synthetic compound uh, that can provide the building blocks of acetylcholine, which is an important neurotransmitter for learning. So obviously, the more acetylcholine you have in your body, um, the easier for you it's going to be uh, to learn and remember new things. So if you're serious about gaming, then adding cetylcholine is definitely important for you. Now the standardized daily dosage is somewhere between 200 to 300 milligrams per day. By the way, you're gonna find some links to some of my favorite nootropics up there and you can find them in the description below as well. Then I wanna talk about Bacopa Monieri. Bacopa Monieri is an adaptogenic herb, which means that it can improve your memory and at the same time, it can make you more relaxed in stressful uh, situations. So this is kind of a perfect compound for gamers because as a gamer, you probably need to be super focused. You need to have a good memory, but when something happens, you really need to stay calm and that's what Bacopa can do. Now, the standard daily dosage of Bacopa is around 300 milligrams per day. Now we have caffeine, which we talked about before, which is often combined with L-theanine. Now, caffeine is obviously a stimulant, but if you combine it with L-theanine, which is an amino acid that is found in green tea, what you get is a super powerful combo. You get a short energy boost uh, without any jittery or any kind of side effects that usually come with, with an overdose of caffeine. So if you're a gamer and you used to drink lots of Red Bulls and similar drinks, then you probably know what I'm talking about, right? Well, actually I was a gamer um, not that long ago. I was playing different games, not on a super high level, but still I was pretty good. And I can tell you when you played super late in the night um, and I drank too much caffeine, I had so many issues with sleep, uh, I didn't wake up refreshed and energized. So yeah, that's not gonna happen if you combine caffeine with l -theanine. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. I wanna mention two more nootropics for you. One is Rhodiola rosea, which is another adaptogen herb, um, which is great for reducing stress and anxiety. Um, so if you're prone to uh, high anxiety, uh, if you're often under stress as a gamer, which probably happens to you, then I would recommend adding Rhodiola rosea to your um, daily nootropic stack. And the kind of a standardized dosage is around 50 to 100 milligrams per day. And last but not least, there's L-tyrosine. The good thing about L-tyrosine, which is an amino acid, is that it can enhance uh, the production of different neurotransmitters in your body and brain, especially dopamine and noradrenaline. So basically what L-tyrosine can do is, if you take it prior to a stressful uh, event or activity, which is prior playing a game, uh, a very important one for you, uh, that it can improve your cognitive abilities and performance during the game. 
Um, so that's the biggest benefit of it. And the standardized dosage is around 500 to one, up to two grams per day. Now, one of the questions we often get is, are nootropics legal? Well, yeah, in most countries, nootropics are totally legal um, and you can easily take them. Of course, it's always good to double check this for your country, but the major countries, developed world, um, consider nootropics totally legal, so there's nothing to worry about. And what's also important is I found that um, there's a thing called Electronic Sports League, which you probably know about, um, and they're banning illegal compounds, um, but luckily nootropics are not on this list. So yeah, again, nothing to worry about here. So before I share with you my favorite nootropic for gamers, the question is, should you just buy individual compounds, individual nootropics, um, and then combine them into a supplement at home, or should you just go on the market and buy a ready supplement that was designed for gamers? Well, if you really like experimenting, you know, feel free to buy individual compounds. You can find some links below where you can get them. And you can order them, test them, see which work well, which don't work well on you. Um, but, you know, for most people, for most gamers, especially like the advanced ones among you, the ones that really uh, want to get the best results, I simply recommend uh, buying the best supplements, the best brain supplements you can find for gamers right now on the market. Um, because there's, you know, those brands invest so much money and research into developing the best supplements um, that really makes a huge difference. And it's really hard to come up with the same um, ingredient, the same dosages at home and, and, and kind of smartly combine them to get the same effect. Also, you don't want to suffer from any kind of side effects. So that's why I want to go the safe way uh, in this case. The question is, which is the best nootropic supplement or the best brain supplement for gamers? Well, I personally tested many of them and my team did a detailed review of the best gaming supplements on the market. And basically you can find our list of the best gaming supplements below and probably there's gonna be a video up there as well. Just check it out and we're constantly updating this list. So if you click up there or up or down there in the description, you're gonna find the currently at this very moment, the best supplement for gamers. There are many out there, but only a few really work. So, you know, to be on the safe side, really check out the links and um, you'll find what we currently recommend. Of course, our recommendation can change if new supplements come out. So that's why we'll constantly update uh, those two links. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me or my team. Uh, don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget subscribing to this channel. Please press the like button and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.